For years now, Brother Rodolfo Mioli has been looking into the life of Cuban priest Felix Varela. He's actually the postulator for his cause. Most recently, Varela was declared a venerable by the Catholic Church. It's a culmination of work that theologians, historians and scholars have done for years. They all focused their work on recognizing that he actually lived out all virtues. He died in 1853. The Congregation for the Causes of Saints approved the process in 1985, but it actually began 11 years after that. Regardless of time, Cubans still show great respect for Varela and his legacy. He was a scholar, a philosopher, a politician and a patriot. He was one of three people sent to Spain to represent Cuba when it was still a Spanish colony. It was a very important task. He was also a priest, a holy priest, which is why he was declared venerable. The Cuban priest was also a violinist and journalist who promoted the newspaper El Habanero. He was also an inventor. While he was exiled in America, he designed an air purifying machine for patients who suffer from respiratory problems. His life and impact was recognized by Benedict XVI as the Pope celebrated Mass in Havana's Revolution Square. Hijo de luz de esa ciudad de la Habana, que ha pasado a la historia de Cuba como el primero que enseñó a pensar a su pueblo. El Padre Varela nos presenta el camino para una verdadera transformación social, formar hombres virtuosos para forjar una nación digna y libre, ya que esa transformación dependerá de la vida espiritual del hombre, pues no hay patria sin virtud. On Easter Sunday, New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan officially announced the appointment of Varela as a venerable. Cubans remember this priest as a teacher and an advocate of human rights and freedom. Many have said that he was the first who taught us to think. In fact, the Cuban prize that honors cultural achievement bears his name. It's called the Felix Varela Order. His impact is even recognized by the country's communist government. When John Paul II visited Cuba in 1998, Fidel Castro gave the Pope the biography of Varela, which was written by Ignacio Rodriguez. It was one of the few copies that still existed. He also gave him the medal of the Varela Order. And now that Varela has been declared venerable, Meoli says the work of people comes to a close, so to speak, and the work of God begins. Before being considered for sainthood, Varela must first be beatified. And for that to happen, it must be proven that a miracle took place through his intercession.